Good morning and a happy Republic Day. Let us begin today's program with a flag hoisting ceremony which will be followed by the national anthem and a cultural fiesta by the children of DPS Kollam. Kindly rise for the flag hoisting. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Good morning and a happy Republic Day to everyone. How blissful this morning is when we are gathered here to celebrate our Republic Day. It is a day to remember when India's constitution came into force on 26 January 1950. May I call upon Aina of Grade 6 for the welcome speech. Respected Chairman of DPS Column, Sri Abdul Aziz, Directors, Principal, Mrs. Abhat Chatterjee, Teachers, Parents and all my dear friends. A very warm good morning and a happy Republic Day. Today is 26 January, the day when the Constitution of India came to existence. The entire country celebrates the day with great fervor and patriotism. DPS Column also joins the nation in its celebration virtually. On this auspicious day, let us remember our uncountable freedom fighters like Gandhiji, Bhagat Singh, Subhash Chandra Bose, Alibhai Patel and many more. Let us also remember that it's our responsibility to uphold the glory of our land and lead the nation to prosperity. With this thought in our hearts, let us move on to the proceedings of the day. Now, I welcome everybody to enjoy the colorful cultural programs, brimming with patriotic fervor, presented by the children of DP School. Once again, I welcome each person present here to the Republic Day celebration of DPS Kalu. Thank you. Thank you, Aina. Now may I call upon respected chairman of DPS Kalu, Sri Abdul Aziz, to address us. Now in the Irutandam Republic Dinam Agoshigar, Sadhandriya Samra Borari or the Chitrimunil, Sidis Namikino, Nabapara the Shipu or the Pernangala is Marigino. Republic <laughs> Kadilamai Pratum, Shastra Sangati of Alashim, India Lower Ashangal of Munbati Latichu, Palagatangalum, India Shabdan Logatile, Pudi Vedigal, Verno, Vernanum, Uriparadin and Nileki, Abimanika, Nadi Lane, Naman the Jimikina, Uro Paragatatilum, Adin Anasuma, Nimangalum, Pashkarangalum, Undavaran, Panadigar, Sadichunda. The Karsana Mai, Narapala, and General Kaigur, General Kaigur, the Protichu. And I did with the Covid and Angel Mahamari, Yoga Janade, Putumutla, Kavashamana. Covid in Adirevula, 
വാക്സിൻ ഇന്ത്യ നിർമ്മിച്ചതിൽ നമുക്ക് അഭിമാനിക്കാം ഇനിയുള്ളത് അതിജീവനത്തിൻ്റെ നാളുകളാണ് അതിന് വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളുടെയും മാതാപിതാക്കളുടെയും അധ്യാപകരുടെയും പ്രാർത്ഥനയും സഹകരണവും അഭ്യർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ഹൃദയം നിറഞ്ഞ റിപ്പബ്ലിക് ദിനാശംസകൾ നേരുന്നു Good morning everyone. Welcome to yet another Republic Day. We will be celebrating this from our homes. But that will not deter us to have the fervor of what Republic Day means to each one of us as an India. On 15th August 1947, we gained our independence. But did we become a republic? No. we did not ably led by dr b r ambedkar and a host of other wonderful and dynamic indians we framed our own constitution and that constitution came into force on 26th january 1950 now you need to understand the word republic what does it mean it comes from latin words res republica which means public things Now what does this mean public things we it means that everything which is in this country belongs to you and me there is no one to dictate us we do not have any dictatorial rule over us the first republic came into force in rome in 509 bc but india has never been a lagar when it comes to wonderful republic system the lichavis in india is the earliest known republic which existed between the 6th and the 5th century bc again coming back to the meaning of the word republic why do we need to be a republic why would we not have followed somebody else's constitution or why did we not uh, remain a monarchy because we believe that the supreme power of the country is in our hands we have the right to choose a person who is going to be the prime minister of this country we have the right to choose each and every governor mp mla of this country no one can dictate us and with this we should remember that all the sacrifices the great people of this country did for us so let us not give it away to anyone else let us be a son indian where we will uphold the greatness of this republic forever and forever now our children have uh, put in a small uh, program for all of you so let's enjoy that and happy republic day to all of you jai hind thank you ma'am for your valuable words Please put your hands together as we are now going to present you a small cultural fiesta by the children of DPS Kolla. We start with a beautiful dance performance by the lovely stars of Prep, followed by speeches and role plays. खुशहाली के सरिया बलिदान आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी निर्देशक सर प्रधान अध्यापिका जी सभी अध्यापक गण और मेरे प्यारे मित्रों आज हम सब यहाँ गणतंत्र दिवस मनाने के लिए एकत्रित हुए हैं इस 
वर्ष हम अपना बहत्तरवा गणतंत्र दिवस मना रहे हैं प्रत्येक वर्ष छब्बीस जनवरी को मनाया जाने वाला गणतंत्र दिवस भारत के राष्ट्रीय पर्व में से एक है जिसे प्रत्येक भारतवासी पूरे उत्साह जोश और सम्मान के साथ मनाता है आज के इस कार्यक्रम पर सबसे पहले मैं अपने महान लीडर भारतीय सैनिकों को सलाम करना चाहता हूँ जो दिन रात अपने जान पर गिर कर इस देश की सुरक्षा करते हैं जैसा कि हम सब जानते हैं कि 15 अगस्त उन्नीस को हमारा देश स्वतंत्र हुआ था और उसके बाद छब्बीस जनवरी 1950 को डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर की मदद से भारत को एक मजबूत संविधान प्राप्त हुआ उसी दिन से छब्बीस जनवरी को गणतंत्र दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाता है हम सभी यहाँ गणतंत्र दिवस को बड़े धूमधाम से मनाने के लिए एकत्रित हुए हैं लेकिन क्या हमें पता है कि इस दिन का कितना महत्व है जिसने आजाद भारत को दुनिया के सबसे बड़े लोकतंत्र में बोला देश में हो रहे विकास और विघटन के लिए कहीं न कहीं अमीर जिम्मेदार होते हैं जो कि एक आदर्श लोकतंत्र की पहचान है इसलिए हमारे संविधान द्वारा जो तो मूल कर्तव्य निर्धारित किए गए हैं उन्हें पालन करना और उसके लिए दूसरों को भी प्रोत्साहित करना चाहिए आशा करता हूँ आप सभी समझते होंगे यह देश की सीधा से नहीं बल्कि हम सबसे हैं इसलिए हमारे देश के प्रति हमें हमेशा निष्ठावान होना चाहिए जय हिंद वंदे मातर Popularly known as Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, I am also known as the father of Indian Constitution due to my massive role as the chairman of the drafting committee for Indian Constitution. As I belong to the lower caste, so I feel deeply for them and have introduced separate research schemes for all lower caste to promote their status in the society. I became the first law minister of India on this eve of our Republic Day. My only word to you is: the sovereignty of scripture of all religions must come to an end. If we want to have a united, integrated, modern India, the hardships that I have gone through in my early life made me believe that education is a big level. Be educated, be organized. Here I would like to add that society subjective is not merely to give education, but to give education in such a manner so as to promote intellectual, moral, and social democracy. Mera Bharat Mahan Jai Hind. Mera Bharat Mahan Jai Hind. ब्रिटीश भरण स्वातंत्री जनवरी इंत स्वतंत्र परमाधिकार 
സോഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് റിപ്പബ്ലിക് ആയത് ഇന്നേ ദിവസമാണ് ഡോക്ടർ ബി ആർ അംബേദ്കറുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ എഴുതി തയ്യാറാക്കിയ ഒരു ഭരണഘടന നിലവിൽ വന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ജനുവരി ഇരുപത്തി ആറ് റിപ്പബ്ലിക് ദിനമായി നാം ആചരിക്കുന്നത് ലോകത്തെ എഴുതി തയ്യാറാക്കിയ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ഭരണഘടനയാണ് നമ്മുടേത് ഓരോ പൗരനും സ്വതന്ത്രമായി ജീവിക്കാനും ഭരണാധികാരികളെ തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കുന്നതിനും ഉള്ള അവകാശം ഭരണഘടന ഉറപ്പു നൽകി അനേകം ധീര ദേശാഭിമാനികളുടെ പോരാട്ടത്തിൻ്റെയും ജീവത്യാഗത്തിൻ്റെയും ഫലമായിട്ടാണ് നമുക്ക് സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യം ലഭിച്ചത് അവസരത്തിൽ നമ്മുടെ രാഷ്ട്രപിതാവ് മഹാത്മാ ഗാന്ധിയെയും മറ്റെല്ലാ സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യ സമര സേനാനികളെയും ആദരപൂർവം സ്മരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് രാജ്യത്തിൻ്റെ ഐക്യവും അഖണ്ഡതയും കാത്തു സൂക്ഷിക്കുവാൻ പരിശ്രമിക്കുമെന്ന് പ്രതിജ്ഞ എടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് നിർത്തുന്നു ജയ് ഹിന്ദ് happy republic day to all present here today honors the day on 26 january 1950 in which the constitution of india came into effect on that day our nation turned into a newly formed republic as we know our great indian freedom fighters have struggled a lot for purna swaraj in india they gave the future generation which includes you and i a country to lead and to live with dignity those great indian leaders were passionate about our nation and envisaged india scaling greater heights in the years to come they wanted our nation to be free from all negatives including corruption slavery crime violence discrimination illiteracy nepotism and others today when we celebrate republic day we must pause and ponder whether we could make ourselves free from all these and proceed to development and progress as worthy and responsible citizens of india we should think seriously about it and do all possible efforts to lead our country ahead to progress with this i conclude my words thank you jai hind i am mohandas karamchand gandhi after passing my matric exam i went to england where i completed law my social life in south africa had many hurdles i returned to india in 1893 and took part in the freedom struggle I led the national freedom struggle against the British rule. The most unique thing about this struggle was it was completely non-violent. I have worked all through my life for the unity among all and the abolition of untouchability. We have worked day and night for the freedom of our country. And thousands of Indians were starved, beaten, ill-treated and even killed. and at last with india all of india behind my back 
my efforts bore fruit. And on August 15, 1947, India became completely free and independent. We had finally done it. We beat the mighty British Empire, not with guns or swords, but by the means of Ahimsa. I believe in simple living, high thinking and democracy. I tried to show India and the world the path of truth and non-violence. I believe that the freedom and the future of our country lies in its villages. So my dear friends, let us uplift our villages and uplift our nation. Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Really, against the British rule, I certainly like to be known as a revolutionary freedom fighter. My participation in the civil disobedience movement made me a part of the Indian independence movement. I was a member of the Indian National Congress and in 1939, I was elected the party president. The British put me in house arrest because opposite British rule in India. In a revolutionary way, I secretly left the country in 1941 and went to Europe to seek help against the British. I sought the help of Russians and Germans against the British. I left for Japan in 1943 because the Japanese consented to help me. I formed the Indian National Army. My champions, the non-compromising stance and their fights against British fueled the Indian freedom struggle. It inspired mutiny with the Indian armed forces and influenced the British to quit India. Patriotism, leadership skills, dedications, courage, risk taking, selfless nature, far sightedness is what makes a man a leader and a hero. Give me blood and I will give you freedom. They are him. That was a marvelous performance by my friends. Now I invite Nina of Grade 7 to propose a word of thanks which will be followed by one day madram sung by the teachers.
my pleasure to propose the vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion. Hope you enjoyed the programs presented by us. On behalf of our school, let me place on record my sincere thanks to the management for their constant support. I express my sincere gratitude to our principal, Ms. Abhak Chatterjee, for all her support and encouragement. I thank our loving teachers and parents for their timely help and support for the smooth and successful conduct of the program. My dear friends, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your wonderful presentations today to make this day a memorable one. Once again, I thank everyone present here for their valuable presence. Thank you and